Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, um, I'm going to look at a puzzle by Simon Ferre today. Um, we've done the two previous puzzles that he sent to us. In fact, I've done them on the channel um, and I'm looking forward to the third one. Now, um, there's lots going on, of course. On Discord, there's the uh, the monthly puzzle series with a theme, looking for puzzles on certain themes. And uh, we've done a number of the puzzles from the previous theme, which was playing cards. Uh, and they've been great. So it's just fantastic creator content going on over there. Also on Patreon, we've been putting up um, some stuff lately. Crossword solves, puzzle hunts, extra Sudoku content, really it's worth, this is a great time to be joining Patreon in my view. Um, but I would say that. Now, this puzzle from Simon Ferry, he calls it Tumbleweed, and it has a rule that I haven't seen before, that either all the odd digits or all the even digits in the puzzle have to be in one connected region, one way or the other. Now, that's unusual. What else have we got in the puzzle? We've got three types of clues. We've got a few sandwich clues, which are just the normal sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. We've got one little killer clue, which is adding the sum of its diagonal, which can include repeats. Um, and we've got these little circle clues, which are there. They appear every time the two by two there is a two by two block in the grid, which is all odd or all even. And they sum up the different digits in that block. So let's look at the 14 block, for instance. Now that could be an odd block in which there were two fives and two nines. Or it could be an even block in which there were two eights and two sixes, or eight, four, two, with one of them repeated. Those are the kinds of possibility. So not, you know, an, an unusual um, marking. And it's worth noting there is a negative constraint. If a two by two block doesn't have a circle in the middle of it, it's not all odd or all even. Okay, those are the rules. Simon calls the puzzle tumbleweed, as I say. I don't know why. Um, something to do with the odd even general constraint, I guess. Let's try and remember all those rules as we go through it. Do feel free to try it on the link below the video. Um, but I'm going to get cracking now. So I say that with no idea where I'm going to start. OK, there's a four box there. So given that it has to contain different digits, this hat can't be all twos or anything. So it's one and three, and they must be a pair of one and threes because we're not allowed any other digits. So that's not necessarily a deadly pattern. They're across four different boxes, so they wouldn't be even in a regular Sudoku. Um, and indeed, in this puzzle, I'm sure there are many other rules that are going to stop deadly patterns from being deadly patterns. But what else can we do? Um, one of those digits is on that clue, but I don't think that can be useful yet. Ah, 11 down here. Now, I think any time we get an odd number clue in a circle, it's got to be for an odd number um, box, because evens could never add up to an odd number. So 11 is, well, it's got to have three odd numbers in it. So and they've got to be 1, 3, and 7? Yeah, I think they have. You can't have a 5. Yeah, given that it adds only one instance of each digit, I think everything in this 2x2 two two block has to be from 1, 3, and 7, which add up to 11. So we get a 1, 3, 7 triple in the box? I guess these cells down here, these all add up, well, the unrepeated digits in them add up to 16. And we've got a 1 and a 3 is 4. So the other two add up to 12. They must be 7 and 5, I think. I think they must be. 9, 12, 
30. I'm just trying to work out if we could do it with a 9. Yeah, they must be. That's right. Okay, so this is a 7531 box. And now, look, we know that that's a 137 triple, so we can place a number in the grid already. 5 must be there. That's a 7. Now, this is a block of 4, and it's in a box with two odd numbers in it already. So they can't be four odd numbers. They have to be the even numbers, which do add up to 20. Two, four, six, and eight. The This block must also now, because it has even numbers, it must be two, four, six, and eight. But we don't know much more about it. But two even numbers already in this box. These must be odds. Now they must all be different. They're all in the same box. 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1 add up to 25. So we take out the 1, and these are 3, 5, 7, and 9 to make 24. So since those are 3, 5, 7, and 9, we know that this is the 1. 3 there, 3 there, 1 there. Okay, good. Now, two evens. Let's, let's colour the cells. I mean, we're definitely going to need that for the constraint. So we'll use our classic colours, odd equals orange and even equals blue. Which I think is fine for the colourblind as well as everybody else. Now, these two are even, so everything around this circle is even. Um, but we have no idea from this what those two are. Okay, 14, is that a useful sum? Could be 8686, eight, or it could be 842. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Okay, this block of four has to be even because two odds have gone in the box, same sort of thing. That means, well, it's also got to be 2, 4, 6, and 8, so we kind of knew that number would be 20 once we knew that there was a circle here, funnily enough. Now, these are even, uh, odd, because there are four evens already in the box. Now we've got five odds in the row. The colouring was certainly worth it here. Here we've got four evens in row eight, so that's odd. That gives us five odds in the box. Those are even, and those are odd. <laughs> okay, well that's some colouring done. Now, by the way, We've obviously established from the fact that this is cut off, let alone this and this, that it's the odds that join up. So we know that now. Um, these can't contain a 1. should have done that earlier. That makes this now a 9. Um, in fact, we can deduce from that 7 that these are 3 and 7. Now these are 1, 5 and 9. And look at the sandwich clue. It puts 5 in the middle. 9 there, and 1 there. Lovely. So that's 3, that's 1. These are 9, 5, and 7. Now, this 21 means that these two are odd as well. Um, now, 24 would be... 21 means there are 3 odd digits to add up, because 4 would give an even number. So... Uh, they all add up to 25, so we take 3 and 1 out. They're all made from 9, 7, and 5. But we don't know which one repeats particularly. Um, okay. Gets exciting when you get on a roll, but that's all stopped. Now we've got a zero clue, which is quite interesting. That means 9 and 1 are together in this row. That means these cells don't contain 9, because they can't be next to a 1. So these cells definitely do contain 9. Um, does it tell us where 1 and 9 are here? Uh, the answer is no, it certainly doesn't. Ah, let's remember, I've just remembered the negative constraint. Now this cell cannot be odd, or we would get another circle in the centre of the four cells. So that's even. This is a kind of domino where one is odd and one is even. I'll make it purple for now. Um, I don't know which way around they go. Um, ah, how about this column? Sorry, column eight with a zero clue in it. Now these can't be five because of the five we've got down here. 
but that could be 9 with a 1 there, or else there could be a 1 or 9 here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, ah, okay, there's four odds in this column. These two are part of this block of four. They have to be the same. They can't be odd, because that would put six odds in the same column. So that is even. That cell overlaps into this one, so they're all even. That's nice. Okay, now we've got four evens in row four, so everything else in it is odd. Um, uh, the negative constraint rule means this cell is odd, because if it was even, we'd have another two by two block. What does that tell us? There's a five clue in this row. Now, that can be either 159 or 951, which would be three odds together somewhere over here. Or it could be 1239, so one even number in it amongst three odds. So again, that would have to be over here. So... Ah, it can't be a 1 here, because 5, 9 is not possible given the 5, 9 down there. And indeed, it can't be 2, 3 in these cells, because there's already a 3 in both columns. So that's not in the 5 sum. This cell can't be part of the crust, because it can't be a 1 or a 9. So this cell must be the crust, and it must be a 9. So 5 is either a 5 here with a 1 here, or 2, 3, no, there can't be a 1 here. Perfect. I think we've done all that. 9, 5, 1. That is the only way for that sandwich clue to be fulfilled. Wow, that was a really weird one. Okay, we've got all the odds done in column 3, so we can put a couple of even cells up there. Um... That's a sort of domino, one odd and one even. Oh, yeah, it could be nine either side of that one for the sandwich clue. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Um, right, what else have we got going on over here? One of these is odd and one even. That's not very helpful. Oh, I suppose I haven't remembered for a while that all the odds have to join together in the whole grid. Ah. Oh, I think there's lots of ways to do that at the moment. I mean, these could come around here, I suppose. Yeah, I think maybe we'll save that up. Although, you can see those ways are beginning to be limited. What about these 18 and 14 sums? I haven't really thought about them. They seemed fairly unhelpful with it with the even numbers you don't know whether they're two or three numbers none of them can be all four numbers because that would add up to 20. in fact the 18 has to be eight six and four not using the two so they have to come from eight six and four but the 14 could be pair of eight sixes we had a look at this one earlier or eight four two um I suppose though, ah, look, we've got four evens in column two, so we can make the others odd. Look, the negative constraint makes this one even, because otherwise these four would be odd together. So that's odd. Okay, I was also going to observe that since there's no two in those pair, there must be a two in this pair. And these can't have a two. I don't know if that's going to help. Oh, look, this box has got four evens in it now, so that's odd. Two odds and an even to go in up here. Ah, they can't both be odd at the top, or else we'd get a two by two. So that one is odd. And one of those is odd and one of those is even. I don't know how to tell that apart yet. Although, again, it's getting quite interesting with the idea of connecting the whole, all of the odds up together in the grid. But it's not finished yet. 
This is another domino, one odd and one is seven. Um, the even numbers are much harder to work out than the odds, I have to say. That seems clear. Five, one. No, just don't know how these go yet. Okay, we've used the five clue. Now we haven't used this zero clue. That is useful. Look, where are we going to put the one nine? Can't be anywhere involving those cells because only one of them can be odd. The one nine must be here together. So those don't include a nine. We can put a three in in the box. These don't include a three. So these must include a three. Oh, by the way, those must include a five. So we're, we are narrowing things down in this little four by four. Um, ooh, what, what, is that not giving us any more up there? Not really. One there, one there. One of these is a one. One, three, nine, five. Nine is somewhere over here. Oh, but wait, nine is in one of those two and in one of those two. So in fact, all of these are ruled out from being a nine and that one's ruling out that. This is a nine. And that's great because it tells us it's color as well. So, um, this is one or five. This is one, five or seven. That's not that helpful, but One of these is blue. I mean, it's very tempting to assume this is even and that's, sorry, that this is odd to connect up, but it's not certain yet. Ah, oh, this is odd and it's looking at one, five, nine and three. So that's seven. Uh, this isn't seven. Now, that, these add up to 21. So the nine has to be included 5, 12, 21, yes. So this can't be a 9, because then it wouldn't be in those cells. So that is a 5. Um, ah, it's a fascinating puzzle. 1 there, 1 and 9 there. Still going to have to approach these 14s at some point, aren't I? What about this 8 clue? We've never even tried to use that. What do we know about it? Um, it's either 1 and 9 surrounding 2, 6, or 5, 3, or an 8. Um, oh, I'm not sure if that's telling me anything useful. Oh, how about the little killer clue? 3 and 5 is 8. I don't think that's useful until I know what this is. Um, if that was seven, these would be two and four in some order. If it was five, they'd be either two and six or both fours. Yeah, it's not it's not very useful. Oh, frustrating. Right. Um, three, one. That is five or nine. Can't be seven because of that. One of these is a three. Now, what if this was a nine? How would we do the eight clue? Don't know immediately. Nine, eight, one is possible. Nine. I don't know. I don't know that I can rule it out. Maybe, it, maybe the way to look at it is if this was a five clue, that would be a five. Oh, that is a five. The other five would have to be here. Um, if this was a five, I don't know. I don't think we've got, just got enough information about the sandwich in the top row. We've done all the other sandwiches. No, we haven't done this one. Nine here or here. I don't know. Which way around is it? No, I do not know. Right, these include a two. I know that because there's not a two here. So one of them's a two. 
So 2 is included in this 14 sum. So it is 8, 4 and 2. So these all come from 2, 4 and 8 and don't include a 6. Oh, that might be helpful. So the 6 is one of these. And therefore, since this lot adds up to 20, there's not a 6 in those. There's a 6 in one of these. There's not a 6 in these. There's a 6 in one of these. And that takes us precisely nowhere. It means we've got a six up here somewhere. Oh. oh! Look at this cell. I know it's parity because it would otherwise form a four even. A four odd cell, so it's even. Why have I not noticed that? Because I am not thinking. Right. So we can finish off that row in terms of parity. We can put a 3 in here for what it's worth, which may not be very much yet. Ah, we've also got four evens down the final column, so we can put in two odds. Um, right, they can't be cut off, and they would be cut off if this was even, or that you'd have this three cell cut off. So that is odd, and that is the first time We've properly used the first constraint about all the cells being joined together. Um, so we have, oh God, we have three seven nine. Oops, sorry, hit the wrong button. We have three seven nine to put in there. Six is one of those. How could this be nine? It couldn't be because you'd have to have two six one and that can't be a one because of that so this is not nine that's for the sandwich clue of eight so nine is one of these ah now this is getting a bit more interesting about the sandwich in the top row nine there and nine there means nine must be in one of these cells in the top row so where is where is that going to form a sandwich to give us a one now that's quite interesting because the filling of the sandwich, yes, it could be two odd cells. It could be five and three. They'd have to be like that. No, or three and five. But if it's an e if the filling is even, it's a single eight here. This, I think, I think we're proving this can't be a nine. Oh, no, we're not. It could be nine there, eight, one. <sighs> okay, how do we... Oh, right, look, this, this whole block of odd has to connect with the bottom half of the grid. Now, it cannot do that by coming up round here for the simple reason that if these three were odd, seven couldn't be up there because you'd already have five odd cells. So those three are not all odd. Therefore, this block has to connect in box five. Therefore, this is the odd cell. Wow. That's a, this is a lovely puzzle. It really is. It's using everything it's got beautifully. So. There's a six in one of those two cells <laughs> because there isn't in one of those two. And that's interesting because now this can't be six, this can't be six, and there's a six in one of these, so this can't be six. So the six in box eight is here. Um, this is a seven six pair, intriguingly. Um, there is a six in one of these two, which I can tell because they can't be a six in boxes two or three in row three. Um, this is, well, these three are two, four, and eight in some mix. Now, how are these going to get connected in? I think we've established they can't reach here because you would need that cell, that cell, and then two more cells to connect down. So they must connect via this cell, which is odd. That one is even and can't be nine anymore. So 
we've either got nine five three one or nine eight one either way around this is a one and is odd that's not a one now this is either eight or three. Oh, it can't be three anymore because we've put the three in there yes this must go nine eight one it must do that's how the top sandwich is filled and the that sandwich has taken a lot of work to get to right we've got three even another one there this is odd still don't know that last domino it could be either way around and for no 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 look we do because of the these three cells are odd and the rule is that if those four were odd we'd need another circle so that's even that's odd and now we can put the digits in six and seven so that seven forces this three five there we've got a one and three here that can be filled in it looks like these odd digits are really going to behave now and be pretty straightforward yeah they're working nice i have a feeling the evens aren't going to play ball quite so well uh, one and five to go in the central box yes that can't be seven anymore so five is there this is a three seven pair we've got a three at the top and seven nine that's all the odd digits done now the evens we've got some good stuff going on on the sixes at least um Oh, let's not forget this 21 clue, which we haven't used yet. Aha! 7 and 3 and 5 is 15. So these two have to add up to 6. They have to be 2 and 4. So this one can't be the 6. So we can at least place another 6 and another one. One of those. Ah, oh, this can't be a 6. So the only 6 in column 1 is here. Um, but there is a no this is six yes so there's a pair of sixes going on there so let's remove all the six pencil marks from the corners and indeed that and that from the cells oh i missed that one annoying okay there we go so that six is done now two and four so that's not eight either Oh, and the beauty of that is one of those is two and one of those is four for this sum of 21. So this cell, which they both see, can't be two or four and it can't be six. That is an eight. And that gives us the eight in box eight. Oh, we've already got the eight up there. I thought that was going to suddenly fire around the grid, giving us all the eights, um, but it hasn't quite done that. There are sixes in those. Um, still, they have to be different. We haven't actually made them different yet. But one of those has to be eight for this row. So that's not eight. One of these has to be eight. So that's not eight. This is two or four. This is two or four. Ah, so we've got a two, four pair in column one. So we can put the eight in there. Um, so that's a two, four pair. So this is a six, eight pair now. Ah, and those add up to 14. So we definitely need a four in here. And one of these must be a six because we need two sixes in this section. So this is a six, four pair. So these two are two and eight. This is a 2-4 pair in box 2. That's 2 or 4. It's not quite... One of these is 8 for this box. Okay, that is quite helpful because that means this isn't 8. That's 2 or 4. Now we've got a 2-4 pair up here. We can fill in 8. We've also got a 2-4 pair in row 2. We can fill in 8. Fixes the 8 there. That fixes 8 there, 8 there is fixed, and all the 8s are done. This is now a 6, which fixes the 4, 6 pair up there. That fixes 2, 4. What a clever, clever puzzle. 
everything gets used. I don't think that was too complicated to understand. I mean, there were some different rules, but they all played together really neatly. Um, and, you know, once you had understood it, as long as you're not forgetting those rules, that's pretty straightforward. And I, as I say all that, I've suddenly got a deadly pattern. Uh, it's got to be resolved by this 20 up here. Now, we've already got 8, 2, and 6. We need a 4. Yes. Right, there we go. Lovely. Whew, scary moment. And there we go. That is tumbleweed. Now, I think it may be tumbleweed because... I don't know, because of things that can blow through it or something, or because the evens are just blocks of tumbleweed that are blowing through this odd grid. Or because I had a long pause in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that's a lovely a lovely puzzle um, from Simon Ferre. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my solve of it. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.